Alright, so uh, today we're going to do a video on how to stream in XSplit with uh, your 360 or PS3, uh, whatever that may be, Wii, console, gaming, uh, device. So basically, I'm not really going to cover hardware. Basically, you're going to have to go out and, um, you know, do some research on which capture card is going to work best for you, whether it's, you know, an internal capture card that you're going to put in your PC, um, or like a external device, capture device, like a hoppage, PVR, or DVR, I, I'm not sure what it's called, PVR, I believe, personal video recorder. Um, I personally use the Avermedia HDMI capture card. It's a pretty... Uh, you know, efficient capture card. There are better alternatives like the Black Magic. I forget the exact model name of it, um, but this does what I need it to do at a reasonable price. I believe it was like $99 on Newegg. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, the capture software that comes with that. So once you install the card and the software that comes with it. You're going to want to open that up. Okay, for me, it's the Aver Media Center 3D. Okay, and for my particular needs, I just click Capture. It's going to open up a little window here. Now, when I go to turn my Xbox on, it should just automatically detect it, hopefully. See the little wheel turning there? So uh, basically what you saw me do just now was uh, I had to go down and mess with my two-way splitter, HDMI splitter. Um, this particular capture card, if you do not have a splitter, um, you're not going to be able to like play the game on your television and capture it through your TV or your computer here like I'm doing. So you're going to want to get one of those. You can get it on eBay for like five bucks. Just um, do a search for like uh, HDMI splitters and you should find one fairly easy. Alright, now once you've got this going, <coughs> fire up XSplit. It'll do its thing. Log you in. You'll get your standard uh, XSplit window. Now, what I do is I click Live and that maximizes the Xbox window um, inside of my media center and then I just add a scene like I normally would add screen region and then boom click that now it's capturing whatever comes through that window um, go to position or you right click the image here position uncheck keep aspect ratio go ahead and drag that blow it up now you'll notice that there's um, I move this over? Yeah, okay. Now you'll notice that there is a border around the outsides here. Go ahead and right click that, go to position, and then use your cropping tool. It's 10, 10, 10, whoops, and 10. Okay. Now, um, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, at this point, you're going to want to just uh, click broadcast and send your uh, or start your stream. Now, I went over how to set up all the settings for your actual broadcast and your resolution, your frame rate, all that stuff um, in my How to Stream PC Games video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a link here to that video. You should see that popping up right about now. Um, go through that first. Take a look at that. That'll give you the basics on how to actually, you know, set up your um, settings in the XSplit Broadcaster. Um, simple stuff. Um, I believe that video is about 10-15 minutes. You want to run through that. Take a look at it. It's the exact same uh, 
you know, thing as streaming a PC game. Um, you go ahead and click this button, move that over, and you will notice that my stream is now live. And there should be a bit of an echo. Um, move this out of the way. And there you go. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, like if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to post them below. Um, you can also email me. Uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, and the actual Twitch TV channel uh, for more info and to actually see my live stream. Um, and that is about it. Happy streaming.